Dear friends, welcome to Infos. Welcome to another video from Infos. In this video, we are discussing flyer system part one. Flyer system is a new subject in our uh, oil and gas training series. Flyer system, as you know, that uh, very, very important part of an oil and gas or hydrocarbon or petrochemical, any uh, these type of industries. So let us uh, understand what is the basics, basics of uh, a flyer system. In this video, we are discussing some of the definition, why a flyer system is important and uh, how it is working. Uh, what is the constructional details and uh, design details, design requirements, etc., etc. Welcome to this video. Sometimes it is necessary to get rid of excess gas and occasionally liquids from a facility. The safest way to do that is the flyer system. So flyer system is uh, uh, one of the important part of an hydrocarbon industry. A flyer system is an arrangement of piping and specialized equipment that collect hydrocarbon releases from relief wall, blowdown wall, pressure control wall and manual walls and disposes of them by combustion at a remote and safe location. So it is very clear that word. So any excess gas or uh, emergency release, relief walls, blowdown walls, or additional unwanted excess gas uh, burning in a uh, controlled way or in a remote location in safest way. So that is the definition of a flyer system. <clears throat> a gas flyer or a flyer stack is a gas combustion device usually in industrial plants such as petroleum refinery, chemical plant, natural gas processing plant and at oil and gas production site or oil well, offshore oil and gas rig platforms and landfills. So most of the our oil and gas facility, hydrocarbon industries, petrochemical offshore and onshore well sites, rigs, uh, flyer system are uh, using and uh, uh, for the combustion of uh, excess gas at the safest way. So that is the uh, under basic understanding of a flyer system. Gas flaring is the controlled burning of natural gas that cannot be processed or say for sale or use because of technical or economic reason. Many reasons are there like, like startup time, shutdown time, excess pressure coming or emergency shutdown. So many times we cannot use that gas or recover that gas uh, from the uh, uh, excess gas releasing system or flyer system. So that's, that time we are forced to uh, do uh, release that excess gas to a flyer system or a combustion system. <clears throat> gas flaring can also be defined by the combustion devices designed to safely and efficiently destroy waste gases generated in a plant during normal operation. Sources include associated gas, gas plant, well test and onshore and offshore process. <clears throat> gas flaring is continuing. Gas is collected in piping headers and delivered to a flare system for safe disposal. A flare system can consist of multiple flyer to treat multiple flyers to treat the various source of waste gases like hp gas will uh, treated or uh, flaring through a hp flyer system or lp in the same way to lp flyer system or cold flyer system wet and dry system so many types are there uh, at least we have to understand hp and the lp flyers uh, in generally the classification of uh, flyer system. Most flaring processes usually take place at the top of a stack by burning of gases with a visible flame. Like in the picture, you can see it will uh, sometime it will increase, sometime it will decrease according to the uh, release of the excess gas. 
but a visible flame will be always available. The height of the flame depends on the volume of released gas while brightness and color depend upon the composition. <clears throat> Typical components of a flyer system. So in this picture you can see that one uh, in the flyer system some of the basic uh, components uh, let us discuss to understand that one. Pressure safety valve, blowdown valve, manual vent valve, pressure control valve, tile pipe, subheaders, headers inside battery limit. So many inlet devices, this we can call the inlet from where the excess gas coming to the flyer system area. That is the safety valve is a relief system, blowdown valve, manual valve, valve etc. etc. So once it is reaching here, the first one is a knockout drum. We will discuss knockout drum in details. So it is simply we can say collecting any liquid or uh, moisture or uh, water or liquid contained in a uh, gas, uh, released gas, we can collect in a, a knockout drum and then it is going to flyer system through a flashback seal drum. That also we will discuss in detail what is a seal drum. Then it is going to uh, flyer stack and a flyer tip. So oh, the uh, important item components we can discuss is the inlet line inlet line joining to the flyer system then knockout drum then some control valves and other things excess gas recovery system we can discuss and then uh, seal drum you can say seal system and flyer stack and flyer tip and uh, pilot devices and uh, light up uh, system using various method lighting the flyer so these are the uh, symbol overview of uh, component system in a flyer system <clears throat> so inside the battery limit flyer knockout drums and uh, related to that one liquid pumping for a pump outside the battery limit OSBL main flyer header. These are the main flyer header. Then liquid seal drum. You can say this is the liquid seal drum. In offshore, there, there are generally KODs are generally designed for internal explosion to eliminate the need of a seal drum. So offshore there will not be a seal drum. It is uh, arrangement is there fly, fly knockout drum and here some uh, uh, velocity explosion uh, system is there. Uh, see molecular velocity seal is there that is the method uh, flashback prevention section mainly in offshore header and emergency gas perch flyer riser this is a flyer riser and tips here and associated hardware means uh, fuel gas pilot gas uh, ignition system or any steaming or air arrangement for purging and other uh, details etc etc so these are the uh, flyer uh, typical components of a flyer system associated monitor uh, monitoring and safety system including infrared monitors so various uh, monitoring systems in the flyer system so you can see here uh, some of the items here uh, you can see lateral uh, feed system, subheader system is there. Header, this is the main flyer header. All uh, relief systems are joining here. And it is inside the KOD. This is the KOD. A liquid knockout drum, you can say, better. And uh, uh, whatever the liquid available inside this one, it will collect here. And uh, a liquid pump will be there to return back to the closed knockout, towards, uh, closed drain system. Or in the process itself and uh, release the gas is going to a liquid seal here we will discuss both uh, knockout drum and seal in detail in our coming uh, slides and uh, uh, the seal is uh, entering to filled with water and uh, only gas will go and it can work as a liquid seal and uh, prevent the flashback uh, system <coughs> flashback firing then it is entering to the uh, stock right uh, flyer riser 
stack we can call and the riser it is going to here gas seal also here then the tip is here pilot is there and this area we can call ignition system uh, pilot ignition first and the main burner ignition so two burners will be there pilot system will be there always uh, uh, lighting up and uh, fly, uh, flyer is running in running condition and uh, so then only the um, sudden or emergency exit or releases gases coming the flyer can work so these are the typical onshore flyer system and offshore uh, uh, due to the uh, space constraint uh, not uh, detail like uh, or large system like uh, uh, onshore system you can see here uh, uh, knockout drum will be there sometime may not be there uh, or uh, sorry um, uh, seal system not there and no quadrum is there and flare stack is inclined or vertical and flare tip is there here they are using instead of the seal system they are using molecular or velocity seal in this area below the flyer tip uh, let us discuss uh, design requirements for a flyer system Flare system provide for a safe disposal of gaseous uh, wastes. Depending on local environmental constraint, this system can be used for extensive vending during startup or shutdown, vending of excess gases, handling emergency releases from safety valve, blowdown and uh, vending system. Causes of emergency relief are many and can include fire, blocked outlet, utility failures, steam, electricity, instrument air, cooling media, abnormal heat input, chemical reaction, etc. Et and uh, flaring scenarios, fire relief, example PSV, pressure safety valve, to protect separator in the event of a pool fire under the vessel. Startup flaring, very important uh, in uh, all type of hydrocarbon industry. Example, flaring of a separator gas prior to compressor startup. Emergency depressurization or blowdown uh, before uh, 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 confined space entry or any other internal inspection or some other work or shutdown jobs. Uh, many uh, uh, depressurization job is taking place in many time so that is requirement of to depressurize system due to confined fire or any other maintenance job internal maintenance job manual vending example final depressurization of vessel prior to purging and entry uh, there are two type of flyer earlier we discussed uh, hp and lp flyer so let us uh, see the definition Understanding about HP and LP flyer separately in detail. Equipment connected to a flyer system for relief, vending or blowdown purposes will be connected to either a high pressure flyer or a low pressure flyer. In general, equipment with a design pressure more than 10 bar G will be connected to an HP flyer system featuring high allowable back pressure reduced header sizes high dp sonic flyer tip typical dp for a sonic tip uh, flyer tip is 2 to 4 bar so these are the reason for hp flyer selection so high allowable back pressure reduced header sizes high dp sonic flyer tip so the due to these reasons uh, always uh, hp gases releases more than 10 bar uh, will be connected to a normally a hp flyer system so the same way lp flyer is also there so a design pressure uh, less than 10 bar g will be connected to lp flyer so it is low allowable back pressure there it is high allowable back pressure increase the header size so header size can increase Low DP in type uh, pipe type or subsonic uh, flyer tip uh, differential pressure and typical uh, 
dp is 0.2 0.5 bar so these are the reason for hp flare so why not combine all flaring requirement to a single lp flare system or uh, any other system the argument can include insufficient or sorry inefficient and very large lp tips so it is be uh, inefficient excessive noise and flare radiation and very large header sizes extensive smoke generation generally uneconomic so these are the main reason uh, not selecting a single flyer system uh, for all uh, releases so uh, that's uh, that is the reason for uh, selection of uh, dedicated hp and np flyer system according to the uh, releases typical flyer system design consideration we can uh, uh, discuss fluorite definitely fluorite will be an important part of a flyer system design temperature definitely temperature will be important part for the consideration header sizing important back pressure definitely smokeless operation most of the uh, new gen flyers are uh, designed for uh, smokeless operation flashback protection definitely the flyer uh, fire should not uh, flash back to the operation system uh, so that uh, protection system will be efficient safe and efficient effective ignition system modern ignition system using earlier uh, manual methods are using and now it is uh, electronic type system so remotely you can ignite the pilot and uh, main burner using a electronic uh, ignition system so that is also important fuel gas system definitely fuel gas uh, uh, for getting a smooth operation or continuous operation uh, so fuel gas system should be important for the continuous operation of uh, pilot burner location also should not affect to the other operations or environmentally affected uh, flyer area temperature is uh, relatively high and the radiation also relatively high so that area will be uh, keep away from the process main area unignited gas dispersion that also very important environmental issue we have to address so these are the these are the um, important uh, key um, uh, issues or uh, considerations key, key informations or uh, considerations concerns uh, when the flyer typical flyer system design consideration so thanks for watching this video this is the part one in the second part we will discuss in detail design requirements constructional details of a flyer system a liquid knockout drum and uh, liquid seal drum etc etc so thanks for watching this video have a good day